Hi guys, Extra Crispy here, and today I'm going to do a video tutorial on how to make a crop field. I posted pictures of this on Facebook and elsewhere, and people really liked it and thought the video would be helpful. Uh, it couldn't really be simpler. I started with a piece of plastic packaging. Here's a lid from a basil package I bought. And all I do is take a pair of scissors and cut it to shape. This is sort of an oddball rectangular. And I gave it a spray of uh, olive drab paint just so it would be a little clearer kind of what it looked like. And now all I'm going to do is take some cheap craft paint. I'm going to put on a pretty thick coat here. One, two, three, four pretty big drops. I want this to be pretty thick and lumpy when I'm done. And I'm just, let's see, just, just making a mess. Uh, no skill involved here at all. If you have kids around the house, they can help you with this step. I'll just make sure we get all the corners. Okay. Done. As I said, it's nice and messy. It's bumpy. There's there's ridges and bumps. Um, we do not want it nice and flat. We want to make a field. So I did one yesterday. Making a mess over here. <coughs> And it's dried. Let it dry really thoroughly. I just go ahead and let it dry overnight. And what we're going to do with this guy, now we're going to do two layers of dry brushing. And again, I'm using cheap craft paint that I had lying around anyway. Uh, this next color is called Country Tan. Any sort of light brown would do. And we're just going to give this a, a really heavy dry brush. And we're going to go across the grain of the ridges that we made in the paint just like that again you can make a big old mess it doesn't matter that much a lot of this is going to get covered up up here, put some in there, okay, nice, nice heavy dry brush of the tan. And then just to make things sort of pop a little bit, we're going to do a light dry brush of a contrasting color. And again, it, honestly, it doesn't matter that much what you use. This one's called Light Timberline Green. Again, another cheap craft paint I just happen to have lying around. And a nice light dry brush, just like that. Just want to create some little accents in there. not all one color. There we go. And done. This will dry pretty much immediately. So the next thing we're going to get is our favorite brand of white glue. And we're just going to lay it down. I like to lay it across the ridges. Nice neat little parallel rows just like this. You want to go almost to the edge of your field. We're going to put a hedge around the edge. That's going to be clump foliage. This is just going to be some fine turf. You can have a row with a gap if you like like that. Sort of leave a little space. You can put these closer together if you like. Just kind of up to you. I'm just sort of eyeballing this. Fields are one of those things that if you put a lot of them on the table, even if each individual field itself is not a real piece of, you know, artwork, the cumulative effect is really pretty impressive. Um, really 
brings a table to life and for me really sort of creates that illusion. Now here I'm using Woodland Scenic's Blended Turf Green Blend T49 Fine. Again, I've got a whole bucket of this stuff. It's really cheap. I think this is uh, $10 worth or something. I've been using it for ages. I'm going to put a nice heavy coat on it. I'm going to give this a very gentle tap. I don't really want to press down. I don't want to flatten those ridges too much. I want them to remain kind of raised and rounded, look like crops. Give that a good tap, and there we go. And we can put our put that away. And for our last step, we're going to just put a hedge around the edge of the field. And again, just using our favorite brand of white glue, put a nice big V along the edge. And in this case, I'm using clump foliage. I have a tree kit that was left over from some project or other. Just going to break this up into little clumps. You want nice solid clumps, and you want to you do want to sort of push this down so that the glue kind of soaks up into the clump, so it'll really hold tight. This particular box has a mix of colors, which I like. So we got some green. Now we're going to go for some darker green. If you have a box that's all the same color, go ahead and use that. It will work just fine. Again, this is sort of more impressionism, so to speak, than really uh, uh, realism. And there goes the phone, just right on time. Anyway, I'm not going to bore you with finishing that all the way around the edge, although I will show the, you know, again, an end result. Um, last thing, once it's all done, let it dry for a good couple of hours, and then give it a really heavy coat of dull coat or hairspray or whatever you happen to have. Scenic cement works as well. Um, that will really just work to hold everything all together. Okay, thanks for watching.